Well, on Easter Sunday, experts expectations for a brilliant, no, traditional Thomas. roast dinner are high, but with the pressure on. So where do you start? Chef Andrew Rudd is here with his Easter Sunday lamb dinner. And it's an ambitious one, I have to say. It is, but Loads you know what? Rest. If you prep everything in advance, have your gloves ready for you because you're handling raw meat. Um, so we've got a beautiful Aldi new season Irish lamb. Prices start at 7 49 a kilo. Um, so this is actually a half a leg. Mm -hmm. So I've got okay, one yeah. cooking at the moment and the other elements I'm going to include will be mashed potato with lots of butter, braised leeks, which you were saying you quite Very liked, good, yeah. um, with some fresh peas and I've got some mint going in there as well. That's but lovely. first and foremost, I'm not going to seal this. Now normally what I would do is I would, you know, you know, um, dress the lamb, yeah. I'd seal it in maybe some oil, but it's going to take a little while to do that. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. So I've got some beautiful little anchovies in here as so well. So you're not going to do it just because we don't have time? But yeah, what, yeah, just, okay. well, again, there's no point showing somebody how to sear or seal a piece of meat. They okay. can do it themselves just at home. The so I want to kind of try and get through everything here okay. because we've got the lamb, we've okay. got the lamb in. why anchovies? Anchovies give it beautiful flavour. the lamb, really? Oh my God, yeah. So I mean, right. I go away on holiday, well, <laughs> we haven't for a few years with my yeah friends and all we do is we cook and we eat and we cook and we drink wine one of the dishes Brilliant. we did was a huge great big leg of lamb with anchovies on a barbecue why does it complement it so much it's so i think it's when the you're saltiness you see it's then... the saltiness as okay. well so what i'm doing here is i'm i've made six little incisions in we go with the anchovies in we go with the garlic in we go with the anchovies i'm going to season it a bit of um salt and pepper and then you have your um fresh rosemary there as well. Now, what I have done there in advance, I've got there a little bit of olive oil and we've got some salt and pepper. I'm going to get rid of my gloves now. Mm. Bit of salt and pepper, like so. And you're just doing that on the top, on the yeah. fatty bit, yeah. Now, what I would normally, in normal circumstances, I would have a frying pan and I would actually seal it. Sear mm. those sides. And yeah. sear it to stop the juices flowing, flowing out. So that's going to go into the oven here. And that's a half leg, obviously, because we don't leg. have as many people. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one out, which dun, is what dun, we dun. prepared earlier. And this is just to die for. And how long do you cook from what temperature? I have got an internal temperature of 66 degrees. Okay. So that's kind of medium to well done. So I think if you're cooking for families, particularly children, you don't want a lot of blood flowing through it. Mm. When it comes out of the oven, let it rest, let it sit. So other couple of elements. And what I always suggest is prep in advance. So here we have some butter. The mashed potato I did yesterday. Okay. Well, actually, Camilla, my head chef did. Yeah. Okay, don't give it away. <laughs> don't give it away. Give it away. Yeah. You always need a bit of help in the kitchen. So this is a little trick for, uh, for mashed potato. Right. That's cold. Straight in here to the pan. And I'm just going to use the spatula and I'm going to move it around the pan and that warms it through really, really quickly. I've got some butter in there and you can put some milk so in there as well. So you just fry it? Fr kind of, it's, just... No, it's warming it through actually, Tommy. It's, so I've got... So it's not a very high heat. It's not a very high heat, just warming that through here. So the next thing we have um, are the braised leeks. Now, if you can, you can see here from the lamb, I actually have a little probe in there just to make sure I've got the right temperature. I've roasted some carrots here as well. I love carrots. Mm. I boiled the carrots whole for about three, four minutes. Then I chop them up and then I put them into the base of the roasting tin. And what you can do as well, when you're garnishing, you can put a little bit of rosemary over there. But I love butter and sugar over oh. carrots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna carve that in a second as well. What I have here is some jus. So in the jus, what we have is we have butter, uh, we have shallots, uh, we have garlic, we have balsamic vinegar, now, you can use wine, red wine, if you want. If you have children, burn it off first. Put that into a separate saucepan, bring it to the boil, and that's, the alcohol will be evaporated out of that. And I've had this cooking here for about 20 minutes just to reheat it. And this is the point that I make prep as much as you can in advance, because here, this meal, I could have this served up and ready right. within 20 Come minutes. Come on, let's well, get it up less. here. Yeah, about a minute uh, and a half. So here we go. Just going to... Massage well, that in that there. Butter so you, as well, you can see Yeah, it, you can yeah. see the butter. So I've got quite a bit of heat in there now because that's going to disperse through the potato pretty mm -hmm. quickly. We've got a lot of heat in here, the leeks. So I've got my peas. So again, the trick with the peas is to put them into a large um, Pyrex or plastic uh, jug over with boiling water, leave it for five minutes, drain it, and they're lovely and sweet mm. and juicy. Very nice. So in here, I'm going to add my mint. So in we go with our mint. This is for the braised leeks and peas. The leeks, right. And I'm only putting the, leek, uh, the mint in at the very, very end because I don't want 
the peas to be overcooked. Okay. Stir and that it's just in. just chopped mint leaves. Yeah, chopped mint leaves. So again, the lamb here is all board beer quality approved. So that means that there's very let's rigorous get it carved routines. Up. We yeah. need, let's go and have a look. No We're problem. We're running out of time, unfortunately. So we have our potatoes in here. And I'm going to pass this over to you, Karen. Oh, lovely buttery spuds. Spuds. Mm. In we go. Move that over there. Lovely. Um, and our lamb. So let's get our lamb out here. But that's a nicer here. tip than just banging it in the microwave, isn't it? What the, that oh, the, in terms of reheating your yeah, mash. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look at this here. Particularly because I always make too many potatoes. Yeah. And it's nice then, instead of throwing them out or kind of giving the dog them, you can kind of just keep them and turn them into mash. Oh, the next this day. is Would really nice. I can smell the anchovies. The I can everything. smell oh, the garlic. Good. Yeah. This really is very good. So I'm going to pass that over here. Wow. Here we go. I'm going to put it up on the counter. Event cooking, this is we'll pass this for over. Sure. Get the muscles. Oh, and that's the thing is to actually, with your family, <laughs> middle of the table, that's what it's all about. And then we have our braised leeks, our peas, and our mint. Here we go. I'm going to do that, take that. Oh, yes. <clears throat> and the piece de la resistance here is our gravy or our jus. So straight over here. There it's we go. Delicious, and then that can be served directly over the oh, as well. That is but isn't that, it's, it's, it's beautifully cooked. My ideal you temperature. You can really taste the garlic coming through you that can. as well. And, and, the, the, and anchovies. the anchovies as well, saltiness. Yeah, it, like it works, it works. And if mm. you're doing that on a barbecue over a kind of a, a longer period of time, the anchovies work brilliantly. Yeah. And this is available in stores as of today. Super wow, stuff. Wow, we, that Lovely. is delicious. Thank We're you, Andrew. Yeah, yum.